yes. You know, I've been doing a lot of videos. If you don't like it, suck my black fucking American fucking democracy flavored dick. Simple fact, dude. I'm saying the shit that needs to be done instead of, like I said, um, I don't know what the name of my, I've been watching this shit. I don't know what you're doing. I've not seen no identification intermingle and intercept, which basically identify a liaison. You intermingle with them upon them, get in their head, and intercept all actions with a positive action. Like they're coming with they're coming with water cannons. Quick, 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 quick. They're coming with water cannons. Back up everybody, back up everybody, and then let's lay some flowers down. Like this has, this is a very, very, very proactive process. The philosophy of protest is civil disobedience to disrupt targeted services that are basically have not, they, they have not supported the people, they've supported the corporations, the corporate entities. The whole problem with Standing Rock right now is the police aren't gonna are not going to are not take your side. They're not gonna have any, any human emotion for you people. They're not they're not that. They're they're like ISIS thugs. These motherfuckers are heartless. Like I tell people, the, the aggressive roles in policing are, are mostly volunteer. They 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 volunteer for that. You volunteer for aggressive shit like that because it's in your nature. You got an aggressive nature. Yeah, that's most likely because you're a sociopath. You get pleasure of causing causing human mental distress, homo sapien mental distress, either mentally through sorrow or mentally through anger. You feed off of that. And it gives you a high. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about people that know hypothermia can be fatal, but are spraying people with water hose and hearing their clothing pop and then cracking jokes on fucking YouTube about, I bet you wish you had a Snuggie, magic blanket, all kinds of crazy shit. I mean, I've been reading fucking ignorant shit. And you can tell who can watch a video of humans being punished for civilly gathering to protest and basically express their opinion on a political decision that affects multiple parties. Like, they are coming peacefully and the police are... They had baseball bats, they had baseball bats. It don't matter if they have baseball bats, dude. Like I said, it doesn't matter if they have AR-15 shouldered as long as the muzzles are pointed to the sky or to the ground in the state direction. It doesn't matter. They can have everything you have, bro. Like, just like you carry a gun, I can open carry a gun. They can open carry a gun. They're guns, bro. These are made by man, not by God. Well, I tell when they made your gun... They did not stop making these. They did not. They did not discontinue production of these when they made yours. That's a humbling as it comes. It's equality at. It's equality at the purest level. What you have, I can obtain. What you obtain, I can obtain. What you put out, I can put out. How you act, I can act. That's equality. That's the core foundation of democracy. Equality. All men are created equally. Right. But equality is mandatory, just like justice is mandatory. These contractors are breaking the law these officers are failing to protect you through color of power 
and using their authority, their position, and their military surplus provided through the 1022 Pentagon program to brutalize you with force to pacify you to their commands. And it, you are not pacified to their commands and obey in detail their commands. They subject you to violence or death. They might kill you or death. They subject you to violence. Like that's some flawed, outdated, I don't know, um, obsolete, homo sapien pathology. I mean, you cannot make someone do something. Only thing you can do is make yourself a target. That's all you can do. But taking a human life, you didn't solve anything. You didn't win anything. They lost, and now you you lose. You have to live with that, and if you get pleasure out of that, like George Zimmerman does, you know what's gonna happen to George Zimmerman one of these days? He's gonna he, he's gonna end up fucking with and acting racist toward a guy like me, a guy who will pull a CCW out faster than he can pull one, drop to a drop to a tactical prone position and fire two, well, discharge two shots, center mass, causing a fatal injury. Killing is never okay. It is never acceptable. It is never the answer. But George Zimmerman deserves to die. You are a murderer. You are a bigot. You are a pathetic human being. I saw this asshole last night. I could have shot the fuck out of this Mexican last night. And I'm not racist. Everybody knows that I'm half and half. This drunk dude pulls out a friendly dog. I know it's friendly. The dog didn't bark. And he's like talking to it in German. Dog got pit bull. Is, he's not even looking at him. I'm looking at, the, looking at the ground like he's ashamed of himself because you, you abused that dog. That's what it looked like. And then he's patting his side talking about he got a gun. I just had to show the motherfucker last night. I said, say, bro, don't pat your side ever saying, and choreograph you have a firearm because like i told him i don't know if what you're patting it doesn't sound like a firearm but i reached right in my right in the back of my bridge and i showed him this is a firearm it's a 1911 45 acp caliber springfield green u.s army written on it my grandfather gave me that yeah i told him this is a firearm I told him, dude when you just came out acting like a jackass because you're intoxicated with the dog and everything like i told him dude I could have legally shot you and your dog, and I wouldn't even be handcuffed. My son, he said, I'm the maintenance man of this complex. I was invited over here to visit a friend. I told him, dude, you're intoxicated and basically engaging in criminal negligence, along with other fucking violations of state penal codes and probably a couple federal if that is a firearm and you're drunk in public with it. Think this will win all problems. The police are not going to see your side on this. You need to equally engage them. And y'all, I don't see why the FBI has not been contacted and there's not half a million power of law complaints fucking filed. The FBI should not even be able to receive calls because the lines are busy from people firing power, filing power of, I mean, color of law complaints. I mean, if you people are really tired of getting water hoses, rubber bullets and all that, go fire, go file a color of law, power of law, failure to protect, excessive force complaint against all these law enforcement over on North Dakota. And then, like I told y'all, Go get a group, a big, big group, and go perform a citizen apprehension and tell them the, the criminal penal code they're in violation of and the federal code they're in violation of. Tell them, I am apprehending you under... Well, just tell them you're under citizen's arrest. That's all you got to say. You're under citizen's arrest. I'm going to hand you over to the proper authorities for prosecution. That's all you got to say. Call the FBI and contact. Use your mouse and your brains.